in my third year at, at Silver Mine, I, I spent most of my time uh, in my own studio. And, and you know, George Chaplin or Nick Marsicano would come up and, and visit uh, once a week and, and talk to me about what they were seeing. Uh, and and it, it, was, it was like, it was amazing. It was, it was, really, it was like you were, you were a real, real artist. It, 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 it really uh, went beyond school in a way. Uh, they were like colleagues, and it was just it was very special. Uh, so uh, the process of painting is 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 a way of of getting in touch with with kind of a, an inner place in myself that that's very important. I think that somebody looking at certainly some of the late work that I did at Silvermine and looking at some of the work I'm doing now could, could see that it was the same artist uh, who was doing them or, or certainly uh, a good friend of the same artist. <laughs> Do you uh, do you do things to force a change, like you know, suddenly introduce a new color, one that you're not normally using? Um, yeah, I'll do that, especially if uh, if uh, if I if I feel uh, painting's gotten too safe. You know, I, so you know, I, having painted as many paintings as I painted, it, there there are certain ways that I know. I know how to uh, make the painting all right, and if I catch myself doing that, you know, falling into this habit of making the, the painting pretty when instead of really going to the core of, of what I'm trying to, where the painting can can be can go to, uh, sometimes I'll I'll throw in you know something totally out of left field, which will force me to kind of react to it in a way that's not uh, not a safe place for me to be, be working in. Actually, at the time I came to Silvermine, I pretty much uh, thought I would be doing sculpture pretty much the rest of my life, but I found myself doing much more painting than sculpture. It was easier for me to, uh, uh, you know, to, to work two-dimensionally, and the more I worked two-dimensionally, the more I liked it. And I got really fascinated with color, and, and that's a whole area that, in sculpture, at least as it was traditionally uh, done, uh, is not as much of an issue in you know, a three-dimensional. Uh, world as it is in a, um, on, on a two-dimensional surface. The whole uh, community of of what Silvermine was, uh, especially uh, the more advanced students, the students who had been there in you know, two, three, four years, um, would have. Most of them have their own studios, and we just make our rounds and and and, and talk talk to each other about their work. You know, and late into the night, uh, discussing art and, and and life and philosophy and uh, music and whatever. You know, it, it would it would go on, and and, and it and it was uh, and it was magic. It would, uh, it, uh, there was a a real. Uh, it was, a, it was a real community of uh, of artists. You know, I, I was going to say like-minded, and I, but they weren't like-minded at all. I mean, they were all different. They were all different kinds of minded, and uh, uh, yeah, you, get, you could get into some pretty uh, feisty arguments about, <laughs> about 
the meaning of life or the meaning of art or the meaning of, of what you're trying to do as opposed to what they're trying to do. But it was always, it was always very, a very interesting experience.